Hi guys, so today I am going to be doing, I'm going to shoot a whole bunch of videos but I'll upload them as a series, um, just one at a time. And I saw Michelle1218 had done the tag for products I regret buying. And looking at all the products I regret buying just kind of disheartens me because it's a lot of money that I've wasted. But maybe if I kind of pass this on to you, either it will keep you or someone you know from buying it. Or um, if I say that I regret buying something, if you really like it and maybe I say I don't know how to use it or something, if you'll comment below how you use it, maybe I could find a way to get a use out of it. So, it's going to be lip products and nail products that I regret buying. So, the first lip product I regret buying is actually kind of cute packaging. It's from Hard Candy, which you can get at Walmart. It is Painted Lady Lip Color in 190 Rush Hour, which is a pretty pink. You can see how vibrant it is. But the problem is, I barely use this thing, and it's broken, it doesn't wind down well, and it was pretty reasonably priced, but for it just to break, I find I can't use it or travel with it because the top doesn't stay on well, and since it's broken, I don't know. There's just a million other lipsticks that I could get that are better than this. So this product I regret buying is, it's a Revlon lipstick. In... It's a super lustrous lipstick. It's a pearl and number 455 paparazzi pink. Which in the store, I thought, oh, I have to have this color. It is gorgeous. And in real life, it's quite sparkly. It's got like glitter in it. And it's like large hunks of rough glitter when you put it on your lips. One, it settles into all the lines. Two, although the color looks pretty on my hand, it's not very flattering on your lips. And three, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see, you can see the glitter in it, like it's not just see the glitter, I mean, each individual particle, it's so rough, it like hurts. So the color is not a problem, but, well I guess the color is a problem, as long as the color either, but I would think Revlon that you would use a glitter that's more, that's more, that's a better grade of glitter for a lip product. Looks like this. If you can guess from the color, it actually looks kind of orangey there. But this is a Revlon Colorverse lipstick in Fashion's Night Pout. Now it's a nude, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, "What?" Because it was hard to get, and people love it, and whatever. But when I found this, I found it at a Walgreens randomly collecting a lot of dust, and I was so excited. I'm getting Fashion's Night Pout. Everybody's raving about it. I already had soft nude. Now, I don't know if you can tell next to each other, and let's swatch. There's no problem with the color. I don't regret the color. Fashion's Night Pout is slightly... You can see they're like the same color. They're like exactly the same. So my only regret with buying Fashion's Night Pout is I already have Soft Nude. and. I don't use it super, super often. When I do use it, I love it. There's no problem with the color and the formula I love, but I just, I bought two lipsticks when I only needed one, basically. So I bought into the hype with Fashion Tonight Pal, and I should have just gone with, I already have Soft Nude, and they're the same freaking color. So close, in fact, that I mix up the lids all the time because I have no idea which one's which because it's the same color to me. Thing I regret, I feel bad. I feel like I am picking on Revlon. I've got a lot of Revlon lip products here, but just goes to show you I buy a lot of Revlon. <clears throat> Third one is a Revlon Colorstay Mineral Lip Glaze in number 500 Lasting Shimmer. Looks gorgeous. Had Halle Berry in the ad and I'm very similar in color to Halle Berry. First of all, the smell. It smells, I don't know, it's like a sickeningly artificial sweet smell. It's awful. On my hand, the color isn't bad. It's a very pretty color. On your lips, it settles into every single little line you have, including using a primer, a chapstick underneath, everything. It settles, it cracks, it looks awful. I cannot find a way to wear this. I've tried to wear it as a lip gloss over lipstick, I've tried to wear it by itself, tried to wear it with chapstick, tried to wear it with lip primer, and I want to love it so much because the color is gorgeous, and in the ad, Holly's lips look amazing. Doesn't work. 
looks awful. And my final lip product is not a Revlon, and actually I got Butterfinger Stay. Actually, I got a Revlon product that was what I ho was hoping this product would be. Now, when I got this, um, it was like 75% off, so I paid like nothing for it. But it's one of the Milani Buzzworthy lip glosses in number 7 Beautiful. And when I got it, I thought this is so gorgeous. And it smells like honey, and you know a lot of my favorite lip glosses are the Milani Buzzworthy ones because they've got that honey. Mmm, they smell good. The problem with this color is when you put it on, it's just left. It kind of looks pretty there, but on your lips, it looks like you put glitter in a clear lip gloss. It looks like you took clear lip gloss and mixed it up with some fact, fact, craft glitter, like for a craft project, and slapped it on your lips. It looks crazy. It doesn't look good. In comparison, a product I don't regret buying, so that one was cheap, so it's okay, but a product I don't regret buying is the Revlon, Revlon Lip Gloss um, Super Lustrous in number 90 Pearl. And it looks like this. And this is what I was hoping the Milani one was going to look like. See how that's got like that pearly color to it? That This is what I wanted this to be. And it just wasn't. So I cut this so it's okay because it's a gorgeous color. But if you see the Milani one next to it, you can see it's like child's play. It's, it's not flattering for anyone. It's ugly. For nail products. Um, this is going to be a surprise considering how many nail products I buy that I only have two that I regret buying. But the first one I regret buying is a China Glaze. It's nail lacquer with hardeners and it came in number 975 cyberspace and i guess it looks okay but i have a million colors like this brown kind of shimmery-ish whatever color and the reason i bought it was in the store under the display i don't know what light they had on it but this looks like the sky like a hubble telescope picture all the little glitter in it you probably can't even see it but all the little glitter in it was lighting up all these different colors and it was all iridescent it was beautiful it was beautiful and i was like that is gonna look so cool on my nails got home put it on my nails i thought maybe the lighting in my house whatever nope never looks like that again if i could walk around with the light that they had on the display on my nails it would probably look fabulous but in real life it just looks like every other color i own that's kind of a metallic -y brown so i wish i hadn't bought it because i don't need any more nail polish other color I regret buying is a Butter London color. I was so excited when Ulta started selling Butter London and I had had my eye on quite a few of the colors for a while and I limited myself to three when I first got them and one of the first colors I wanted because it looked amazing is Henry Regatta. And it looks so amazing in the packaging. Doesn't it just look gorgeous? And when you put it on your nails, I feel like I get almost no payoff. I mean, I know it looks gorgeous there, but I don't know, kind of like the Milani, sorry, kind of like the Milani lip gloss on my lips for my nails. It's just clear with a little bit of glitter in it. It's like that on my nails, but green, you know? It's like when I want a glitter nail polish, I want a glitter nail polish. I don't want my nails to look like glitter. I don't want them to look, I don't know. So I'm not impressed. And Butter London is quite expensive, so I wasn't very happy with that. But I'm still trying to find a way to wear this. I'm sure I could layer it over another nail polish, but I shouldn't have to try so hard with a nail polish that cost as much as this did. So that's it for my lip and nail products that I regret, regret buying. Um, I've got some face products I regret buying, some eyeshadow. I regret buying and some eyeliners, mascaras, etc. that I regret buying. So I'm going to shoot all that stuff and like I said I'll be uploading this in a series so if you're not subscribed please do if you have any suggestions on how to make anything that I don't know how to make work work. Uh, just put it below and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!